everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to solve equations using backtracking. To solve equations, it is possible to travel in either direction for a flow chart. Working backwards against the arrow is called backtracking. Backtracking an algebraic expression can be used to find the input number. Let's start off with an easy question. Okay, first we have 4x plus 12 equals 32. Now, what the main, the main purpose is to find what x is. So what's the value of x? To do that, we need to draw a flowchart and do a process called backtracking. First off, we draw one box and we draw what we're starting off with, which is, this is called the input number because we're starting off with it. So we draw x and now we draw an arrow. Okay, now what do we do with this arrow? We look at the first operation being done to the x. So what, what's the first operation being done to the x? The 4. So whenever there's no um, op operation sign, it's always a time sign. So we times it by 4. Now we draw another box. Whenever we times a pronumal by, um, by a number, the number always goes in front of the pronumal. You all know what a pronumal is. It's basically, instead of a number, we use a letter. So x is a pronumal in this question. Okay. Now the next step is what's next being done to the x? Next is plus 12. Now we need to write plus 12. And then we draw another box. And we what's 4x plus 12? We just write it as an equation. Okay, we have this. But now we're trying to find the answer to x. So now we need to do a process called backtracking. First, we draw another box under all of the boxes. So do something like this. Okay, backtracking means going backwards. So we do the opposite of these operations. So, what's the opposite of a plus is a minus. So now we write minus 12. But first we need to write the answer here because we're working backwards. So 32 minus 12 is 20. Now, we're going backwards, so we draw another arrow. What's the opposite of a times? Divide. Now we divide that by 4. So 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So 5 is our output number, the last number that we have. So now, x equals 5. So now in this equation, we know how to solve it. Because we know we have the value of the pronumal. Okay, next question, which is a bit tricky. Now we have 2 bracket 3x plus 4 bracket minus 5, which equals 15. So we're trying to find the value of the x, which is a pronumal. Let me just write it for you so you won't forget. Okay, now we need to draw a flowchart, and after that, we do backtracking. So we draw our first box, and every time we always put the pronumal in the first box. Now, we always do what's inside the bracket first. If you know what bond mass means, B is for brackets, so we always do that first. So, what's the first operation being done to the X? Is the 3. And whenever there's no um, operation sign here, it's always at times. So now we draw an arrow, times that by 3. Now we draw another box. So, don't forget, whenever you times a pronumal by a number, the number goes in front of the pronumal like that. Now, we go another arrow. What's the next operation being done in the bracket? Plus 4. Now we write plus 4. We draw another box. So, basically, 3x plus 4. Now we do another arrow. Now we do... The, thing, the first thing in front of the bracket. Whenever there's no um, operation sign here, so just say there's a number in the bracket, there's always going to be a multiplication sign over there. So basically, we times this by 2. So we do another box. Now we do 2. We bring the number forward. We bring the number 2 in front of this. And we do a bracket because there's more than three operations. So we have to put a bracket to make it easier. So we can just spread 
the values and sh yeah. Three x plus four. Close the bracket. Now we have one more step, which is minus five. So we do another arrow, and we write minus five. Do another box, and we do two, three x plus four minus five. Now we've got this part done. Now it's time for backtracking. So we always have to draw another box under it if we want to do backtracking. So let's draw all our boxes. And don't forget, backtracking is doing the opposite, so going backwards. So now we write the answer, which is 15, because we're going backwards. So 15. Now, what's the opposite of minus? Minus, opposite of that is a plus. So we've now we plus this by 5. And 15 plus 5 is 20. Now, what's the opposite of times? A divide sign. Now, we draw an arrow to go backwards. So, what's 20 divided by 2? 20 divided by 2 is 10. Now, we do another arrow. And the opposite of a plus is a minus. So, minus 4. So, 10 minus 4 is 6. And now, we do another arrow. And we, what's the opposite of a times? A divide. So divide that by 3. So 6 divided by 3 equals 2. Now we have our output number, the last number we have. So now we know the value of x. x equals 2. Now, this is how you do it. Basically, if you have a question like this and you want to find the value of the pronumeral, you do a flowchart, then you do backtracking, you do the opposites of these operations. Okay? Now, I hope you know how to solve equation using backtracking, and thank you. Bye.